All right, this is a five-person chocolate muesli with fruit or one dub C. So I'm, I'm wondering what you guys are going to eat. Dub C here, the Survival Saturday. We're in Red River Gorge in Kentucky. It's a nice rainy day inside the cave, and I got some special guests. I got Black Dog Bob, Shocker 71. Um, I don't have a name yet. I'm new to YouTube. Oh, but... it's Jack, Jack of Trades. <laughs> so today we're out here. We're actually going to review the 24 hour cold weather five person ration. This is a sample. Uh, Bob can go into more detail on this, but this is one of the rarest rations we got. We're going to no, be it's, it's the rarest because there's only four in people's four hands. Left. So, we're going to open this up, do an unboxing, and then we're going to eat some breakfast, and potentially lunch and dinner out of it. So, as and as if we... you like this ration, we'll have the same one on Minotaur Trading Company's website, just without the UN logo. It'll have the Minotaur Trading Company logo. We created a civilian version of it, 90 of them. There will only be 90. Yep. So I'm really excited to get inside and see what we got, because some awesome new entrees in here. So let's get started. Outstanding. Basically, long story short, we were part of a tender with another company. They're actually the ones getting the contract. Uh, we're supplying a lot of the products. And then we're doing the final packaging ourselves. So we made uh, 10 of these. Six of them were sent as samples. And then I've got four of them. We're eating one today. I'm giving one to Dub C, one to Jack of Trades, and one to Shocker 71 to take home. These will never be for sale on our website, but we did create a civilian version. Interestingly enough, the, uh, uh, the tender called for, you could not contain anything that would freeze below negative five degrees. Real interesting side point on this. Why is the United Nations and nine other countries that have never bought uh, or stockpiled uh, 24-hour Arctic field rations, why are they all buying them this year? Something we should all be asking ourselves, right? So anyhow, <clears throat> let's cut into this. Today, boys and girls, I'm using the Mora basic survival knife, or basic knife, I mean. Let's cut the tape down the sides. This box is chock full of all kinds of goodies. So the first thing is the most unique part of this. We had to do a water purification bag. So the bag holds 1.7 liters of water. It's got directions on the front. Basically, you open it up, pull out your data sheet, which we have to provide, puff out the gusset, and then inside is two AquaTab water purification tablets. Fill this with water up to where you can close the Ziploc. Drop both of these tablets in, and then uh, I think it's two hours later, you've got uh, 1.7 liters of water. There's six of these in here. That's two per meal, so that you've got one for cooking with and then one for people to have drinks. So there's six of those. Um, there's five accessory kits, one per person. Each accessory kit has the spoon, the wet wipe, coffee, sugar, non-dairy creamer, salt, pepper, hard candy, and it also has uh, two more water purification tablets. So there's five of those. <clears throat> you only get one dessert out of the whole day, and that is the vanilla cookies and cream shake in menu one. Right, which I know y'all have had those before. These are the new ones you put in a full bottle of water, 16.9 ounces, 500 milliliters. <clears throat> Makes a big shake. If you haven't had the new ones, you're gonna like those. Five all-day snacks, they're all the same. It's the chocolate-covered sunflower seeds. Everybody seems to like those. People think they're strange until they eat them and then they really like them. It's kind of like a peanut m and but with the sunflower seed. You got five gluten-free cherry drink mixes. There's another one in here somewhere. So there's five of those. Five of the tropical blast drink mixes. And then five of the Mediterranean citrus berry drink mix if you haven't had those they are phenomenal and then <clears throat> we had to provide enough coffee for for uh five people to each have eight ounces so there's three of the three in one 16.9 ounce 500 milliliter vanilla coffees in menu number one <clears throat> that's a big main yes it is <laughs> so the other thing about this right so even though they wouldn't let us put any spreads in because they would freeze right they did want to make sure there was at least 20 pieces of bread four for each person throughout the day so you got two packs each containing 10 pilot bread crackers 
That's a menu one. Menu two had uh, hardtack in it. Then you got your three mains. Your breakfast is the chocolate muesli with fruit. The fruit in that is blueberries. And let me tell oh, you man. guys, it's good. You're going to like that. I'm excited to try that main. Huge, huge main. Takes 32 ounces of water. Then uh, the lunch in this one's the chili mac. Everybody loves the chili mac. And then the last one is one that y'all have never seen before. It's the Icelandic meat stew. So this has uh, got all kinds of stuff. This is going to be our dinner. Where did you find Icelanders to volunteer themselves to go into the stew? <laughs> Something like that, right? So interesting thing about this, it has diced beef, Italian sausage, ground beef, uh, beef balls, which we'd shred before we put in here, shredded chicken. It has cabbage, white potatoes, carrots, red peppers, green peppers, celery, onions, paprika, uh, modified cornstarch, sugar, salt, yeast extract, and rosemary garlic. Very good stuff. So that's your basic 24 hour for five people. Um, let's get some water boiling and uh, cook up that muesli for breakfast. Sounds good to me. Cool. All right, so we're getting ready to cook up the water. I actually got, uh, when I arrived down at Mentor Training Company, uh, Bob had a Dub C water bottle, but the reason I want to show this off is actually these water bottles are going to be on the, on the website. Come with a nice um, neoprene protector. You heat the, they're insulated, so they actually keep cold water cold and hot water hot. I got the micro survival kit. You can actually put it at the bottom of this. But this Sold is the real separately. cool part. Sold separately. The bottle has Minotaur Training Company on it, underneath the sleeve. And then I also have a front pouch. In the front pouch, I actually have fire tender, but you can all a kind put all kinds of cool stuff in there. Water purification. Yep. A sandwich. Put a sandwich in there. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get the water going. These are double wall insulate. So they, like I said, they will keep hot water hot, cold water cold. All right, we're going to get the water purification bag. and try that out. Just get some water. There's actually some really nice water coming out of this cave. I'm thinking this cave, uh, I mean, it's going to have really clean water as it is, but you always want to purify it just in case. So I'm open up the bag, get the two tablets out, place the two tablets in the bag, and then fill it up with water and seal it up. We are using the water that we brought in as a supply, so we're going to have to fill, um, purify this water that we're using for later meals. So that's why these bags are in here, to get kind of a proactive measure to get these water. So we get both tablets in the water, or the bag first, and then we'll just fill it up. I got a little nice little waterfall right here that we can just fill up right there. Fill it up right here. Once my water's full, I'll seal the bag and let the purification tablets do the job. Okay, we're adding, uh, I got 24 ounces of boiling water. We're going to add some more from uh, Shocker's heater, but we'll add the 24 ounces. And then oh, he's got to add. Very loosely, that chocolate's going to melt as soon as that water hits it. Yeah, oh, it yeah, I can smell it already. Put about another eight ounces in there. Yep. So this is the chocolate fruit muesli. We've got the water purification. A couple things I want to say about this ration right away. Real easy to set up, right? No measuring for the water purification bag. You drop the two tabs in, you fill it up, it's good. Here's another thing. The Tropical Blast drink mix, you just add the uh, bottle of water, so you don't have to worry about measuring that either. It's pretty much all preset, making it as, as convenient as possible, especially on the trail when you don't really want to measure stuff up. You just want to get things done. We've got the three-in-one coffee. Last one. Vanilla coffee. 16.9 ounces. Careful of the hot bag. You set it down. Let it sit. Okay, we're almost getting set up for our meal. This is breakfast. We have the accessory kit. So this comes with uh, the spoon, wet nap, coffee, creamer. Has more aqua tabs. So it's just basically everything you need. I like it that it has another coffee in it. So that's really cool. A little, uh, Pack of, actually has a pack of Smarties, salt and pepper, sugar. Okay. One thing to mention in the civilian version, there will be biodegradable serving spoons for the larger uh, portions. Because if you're, you know, feeding a group of five, you want to dispense to each one. And I got the all-day snack, chocolate-covered sunflower seeds. and have those quite a bit, so you can actually uh, eat these right on the trail. We'll be hiking all day, so. Or you can mix them in with the cereal. Oh, that, that'd be a megabyte. Here we go. Look at that. Chocolate goodness. 
blueberry. It's all melting. That's, that's shockers. Here's mine. By the way, we're all using different types of mess kits. Doug, where's yours from? It's a Dutch mess kit. All right. You, you can really see that. Oh, you all right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. All right, here's the muesli. We're going to give that a shot right now. You see, like, the chocolate's all melted. Got the blueberries in there. Just going to give it a shot. Okay, so the fruit muesli, the chocolate did melt and get all the saturate in the oats. The blueberries are really nice. And if you want to sweeten up, Inject Trades had a great idea of adding the all-day chocolate-covered sunflower seeds into the muesli. Create that little mega bite. Sprinkle some of those in there. Give it a mix. Oh yeah. So adding the sunflower seeds, sweetened it up and gave it a nice crunch. But I like muesli either way, right? I like the semi-sweet. But if you want to sweeten it up, that's a great option. That makes for a perfect breakfast. Now one thing you can do to clean up uh, pots and pans is actually just put your coffee in here. Mix it up. All the leftover chocolate. And just mix up make a nice vanilla mocha, really. You drink it out there and you're cleaning your pan. Okay, we just got done with our breakfast. It was fantastic. Everybody agree? Love it. All right, so we're going to get back on the trail. And I also use the main bag as the trash bag, so it's something to consider. It's a really large main bag. You can put all the trash for the whole meal right into this. So we're going to pack in and pack, head out. All right, so we found our spot for lunch. We pan in, there's our view. I'm gonna bust back into the ration and see what we got. Nice rock formation that we're camping under, off the trail. So we're gonna have the Chillamac and the pilot bread crackers and a drink. We're gonna start warming it up. Cooking up with the water. Getting ready to add it to the chili mac. We are using the water that I grabbed earlier. It's purified now for the main and the drinks. All right, I'm gonna add the water to the chili mac of the chili mac. Here we go. Hot water. We took chili mac over there. It was by chance. It was random selection by it's a left-handed person. Jack's fault. Jack random chanced us into chili mac. Could have been, well, we got dinner. I'm putting the chili mac in the Dutch mess kit. So good. There we go. I'm going to add my pallet bread crackers that come with the meal. I got my pallet bread. Now I'm going to just try the chili mac. So first I'm trying the chili mac. It's got the onions, beans, macaroni. The chili mac by itself is really good, really hearty, has a nice little spice to it. And then uh, beans reconstituted really well. Everything's holding together perfect. Now I'm going to cr crack up the uh, pallet bread into it, thicken it up a bit. All right, got all the pallet bread smashed up in there. Okay. Let's try that out. This is an excellent main, especially with the pallet bread put in there. We're going to go ahead and uh, pack up and get back on the trail. We actually came back to camp last night and had dinner made for us. So we're going to eat the 24-hour cold weather five-person ration last meal at camp. We've got a couple of cook sets set up, cooking up the water. I'm really excited to try this main. And then um, got Shocker, Jack of Trades, and Black Dog Bob here. Okay, for breakfast we've got the Icelandic meat stew. We're going to make that up and share that across the group. Have the cherry, I have a cherry drink mix, vanillas, cookie and cream <coughs> shake. And then pilot bread crackers come with ten crackers. There's two packs of these in the kit. Uh, we eat the one pack with the Chillamac, and we're going to eat one pack with the main. Okay, it's time to add the water. Here we go. I'm going to pop the seal. Yep, we're adding the water. Let's just rip this. Yes. With the Ziploc bags, you hardly ever get a hiss. Yeah, you do. I just heard oh, it. Do you? It just, it, it just went, yes. Nice. Oh, wow, that looks really cool. Smell it. Let's just smell it. Wow. So that's the... Meat stew. Ooh, chunto meat. Yeah. All right, so we have 24 ounces from my stove. 
we're gonna add that and then we have uh, we're gonna add another eight ounces it's a lot of food right there go ahead and add yours okay this is the Icelandic meat stew look at that it looks fantastic it has a great smell to it go ahead and try that out so the cool thing about this has a really savory flavor. The meat, all that comes out together. It re, it, it definitely reminds me of a foreign main. So it's really nice to get that that flavor from like a American ration. So that's really cool. Got to try that out. Now we can take the pallet bread and smash that up, make a nice little soup mix. Okay, we're gonna open up the pallet bread crackers for everybody. There's ten. I'm getting more than one today. I only got one out of that last pack. Make sure bought that's four. Nice sealed in here and they actually hold up nice. there go, go ahead and grab one of those. that pretty much wraps up the 24 hour cold weather five person ration sample uh, special thanks to black dot bob for letting us try this out the norwegian uh, icelandic meat stew that was fantastic really good dinner um, i tell you what this actually held us calorie wise it kept us going on that trail yeah. that was a really intense trail and my, my energy levels were great, and I could tell when I needed to eat. We sat down to eat that chili mac. That was like the final push to get us back home, so it was really nice. The chili mac was great. It was nice having the pallet bed crackers, having the you know big ration of those so you could have them across the meals. The all-day snack, you could snack that on the way on the trail. And then the muesli was a fantastic start to the day as far as getting that, that big load of energy right away and then going on the trail. All the drink mixes worked out good, and I tell you, it was really easy to purify that water. Adding that water right into the uh, bag, putting the two tablets in. But fantastic ration. You're going to see the civil, or mentor, civilian version. Yep, civilian version coming out soon. <clears throat> Just watch out for the website. Hopefully tonight. Hopefully tonight. So that's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.